ass up. Uh. Little drum and bass, dude. Fuck the drum and bass, dude. This little intro right there, you know, real quick. What's up, everybody? It's Danny back here again at Excellent Sound with my buddy Parker Ament. What's up, dudes? We are here in Hollywood, California. And girls. Don't forget Hollywood. we have yeah, girls. Dudes and dudettes. Dudettes. Thank you, sir. Jeez, it's 2018. We are here today. Generally We're going to show quality. you guys exactly. Uh, we're going to be showing you guys how to make this San Holo hit, I Still See Your Face, and it sounds a little something like this. Still see your face. Soft little tom roll. Just a little bit. I still see your face. And as per usual, we always remake the entire drop here at Excellent Sound. We're going to be going through all the sounds for you guys and show you how to make two serum presets for that we're lead. doing two today we're two yeah we're doing two we're fucking oh, yeah dude. we're crazy we're so lit fam still don't know any other youtubers that do that nope not at all gotta come here guys and guess what we're giving it to you guys absolutely free in the download description free below 99 free 99 we got the preset in the rack so without further ado i'm going to show you guys all the elements of this drop because we remade the entire thing and show you guys a little bit how we did it and where you can get those sounds. So uh, the sounds that we're going to be making today, the two sounds, Parker, since you asked, even though you already know the answer because you're part of this company. <laughs> First sound is this one. Little Han Solo, San Holo whistle, Harrison Ford, <laughs> handsome as ever. And the low pluck that sounds like this. Do, do. Yeah, so you guys get it. Uh, it'll be down in the download description below if you want to just grab it right now. But if you want to make it along with us at home, join in. Come on in. Come on. Come on in. And uh, to show you guys, we also went ahead and remade uh, the kick of his, which sounds a little bit like this. Nice little fat future bass kick. And speaking of future bass, this kick will be available in our new pack coming out. And Parker? April 1st. April 1st, guys. Future Bass is coming. It will have the signature series from all the YouTube videos that we've been doing. Yep. Plus uh, tons of Future Bass samples that we've been making, uh, a lot of different stuff, and serum presets yeah. uh, as per usual. Cartel was a huge hit with our yep. pre serum presets, so we wanted to keep doing that. So Future Bass is going to have tons of different, sorry, silence phones. Silence phones. Uh, tons of serum presets, yep. uh, and it's, it's going to be amazing. Loops, kicks, huge. signature series from all your favorite artists, and and, uh, some stuff that we made. I think the the, the signature series folder is going to be a lot larger this time, right? It'll I be mean, pretty big. We yeah. had a pr like how many videos? Probably like fifteen or I twenty. I don't know. In I got to go through and collect them all. It's going to be great. It's going to take a while. Collect um, them all. But also, what's in there is we also have some toms, which we've never done toms before, so I'm pretty excited for that. And I use the toms in this remake, which sound like this. That's part of the elements. Uh, other elements we have is like a little clock here. Um, and this pretty much, this drop's pretty simple. I mean, it's, there's only a couple tracks in it. There's some sub bass and this little acapella bit right here, which is his. Uh, and all together, it all sounds like this. I love this tom roll. It's just so simple. And then, it's like soft, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, a little vintage toms. Yeah, so I, I use some overdrive and some uh, filtering on that to get that. Uh, but yeah, we're really excited, guys. April 1st, make sure, mark it on your calendar. Are we talking about the pre yeah you so talk about that yeah I'll, I'll tell them a little bit about that so uh we're gonna give you guys all the high rollers excellent high rollers you guys are gonna get uh the chance to buy the pack earlier than everybody else so uh we're gonna be emailing you guys all the details on that uh so you know the people that bought all the packs yep. uh even if you got bought like two or three mm -hmm. you guys are on that list so you guys are gonna be getting an email very soon from us uh, and then uh, probably a week after that, it's going to be the first already. So uh, then you guys are all going to have the chance to get it. Hey. But we wanted to do that to uh, you know give you guys a thank you um, mm -hmm. for being elite and well, excellent. Thank everybody you know? just for watching. Even if you don't buy our packs, we do really appreciate you coming and learning with yeah. us. But we want to give you know something extra special for you know. Yep. The, the high rollers. The OGs. The OGs. The whales. <laughs> From what, what was the first video we did, probably? It was the slushy. The slushy. Yeah. yeah, and then we took it down and redid it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The old one. I don't even think it's up there. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get into what you guys are here for. Let's, let's go ahead it. and make some sounds. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this little pluck right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this track. Uh, we got to make two sounds today, so I'm going to try to do this pretty uh, quickly. 
Um, I have an effect rack, which is also in the download description below. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn everything off on it so we can get to that. Turn off all that shit. We can go by one by one, just like this. And I'm going to open up my serum, and I'm going to initiate it just like this. Pull up serum. Come on, girl. There she is. Let's make it big for everybody. Bigger is better. So I'm going to go ahead and initiate the patch right now. We're going to start from scratch. Parker's going to help me, as he always does. Oh, yeah. Because I don't remember how to make shit. I just do it. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is for oscillator A is we're going to do analog, analog BD sign, okay? Uh, make sure the wavetable position is all the way up to the very top and uh, turn the level all the way up and set the uh, FM, uh, sorry, the warp for FM from B is what we're going to go for right now. And we're going to put this around noon. Is it at like noon, Parker? Yeah, a little bit less. A little, little bit less than noon. So we'll do 49%. Should be sounding like this. Nice. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to come back to this guy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put on oscillator B. And we're going to set this to also to, uh, I'm sorry, two basic shapes, not also. And set this to a square wave, just like that. We're going to set this to seven waves of unison. And turn the detune down to like um, 0.02 is what we're shooting for. Just like that. Nice. And then set this also, set the octave to plus two, just like so. And um, turn the level all the way down. Excuse me. What's cool is like the when you listen to his, it's like a very like kind of uh, ring moddy ish sound, and it's very like a whistle. Yeah. So we're gonna go over the envelope and how that kind of happens uh, with FM. You can kind of get uh, a lot of interesting. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess like textures. Tone. Yeah. Textures and tonality. So when you're FMing, it can kind of change the tuning a little bit too, which is really interesting for sure. And FMing stands for frequency modulation or fuck mothers fat. <laughs> I have no, I, I really didn't know what it stood for. I'm glad you answered you really? it. Yeah. <laughs> Parker, help me. I got your back. I Thanks got your bro. Back. Um, so this is looking pretty good so far. So let's go ahead and let's make our first LFO. We're going to create a little vibrato is in Italian because I am Italian. Um, so LFO one, we're gonna go ahead and pull this down like like so, probably like right there. Um, I wish we talked about this before, I think, but I wish that Serum had an actual vibrato knob like Silent does, yeah, and I think Massive does too. Uh, it doesn't, so we can make it this way. Uh, this is an interesting way of doing it. You know what we should do is make it once, or we should just save. We can save that. Uh, you could save, yeah. Well, there's we're gonna be using actually a preset. Uh, wave uh, not a preset lfo in here to be able to uh that's make really the good vibrato. yeah exactly cool. so for lfo one we want to make sure that uh it's set to off okay we're also going to set this to eighth notes leave all this the same i believe uh rise down delay we're going to put it on 16ths so it's going to take a 16th note before it starts basically and smooth all the way down okay so for lfo one we're going to put this on the course pitch and i think it's going to go yeah, it's going to go down. So we're going to shift option or shift windows click. So we want to tell it to be, uh, was it bipolar? Well, I don't know what the fuck it stands for. Make it go one way, basically. Set it to minus nine, just like so. Just Monpole. It's going to sound a little toony, but that's okay. We're going to get to there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our LFO 2. LFO 2 is going to be set, if you go to uh, miscellaneous, it's called slight movement. This is also a nice, a nice little vibrato shape. Um, and I set this also to off, and I set this to a quarter note, and the uh, uh, rise is at eighths. So eighth notes, and delay is going to be at one. Is that 64, Parker? Yeah, 64s. I think I'm going to, let's see how it's sounding with everything. See, it's a little out of tune, but we're going we're gonna to get that going. So um, LFO2 is going to go also on the course pitch, and that's going to be going forward. So shift option, shift windows, click that guy, and set that to 12. See how it's kind of doing? Yeah. It out. See, so he has an at the very end. Yeah. Uh, that's how what I was hearing in his sound. So that's why we did it for this one. Um, next thing we're going to do is uh, our LFO3. We're going to make that right now. LFO3 is just going to be stock triangle. We're going to turn off the BPM like so and set this to 15 hertz, which somebody answered that question for us, which was really nice on our previous YouTube. Uh, shout out. Shout out to you. What that stands for is, what is it, a second? Uh, it's basically the, 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 the length of the waveform. Right. Instead, exactly. of, instead of BPM. There you go. So the lower the frequency, the slower it is. 
Thank you, Parker. Yeah, man. You remembered. I didn't. Uh, go ahead and put this on your detune, and then shift option or shift windows click um, this bad boy. And we're going to pull this down to, uh, was it one? 19. 19. Way off. <laughs> Samsonite. I was way off. <laughs> creating a little bit more movement. And then we're also gonna put this on the fine tune as well. And turn the fine tune down, uh, fine tune, uh, click on the fine tune for me, Parker. I think it's only like going like one over here on oscillator B, yeah. Yeah, and it's going, yeah. So shift Forward. option, windows click, or whatever the fuck. That guy to like two. Just a little bit, just a little bit of movement. Small, simple. Nice. Great, we're getting somewhere. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and let's let's go ahead and make our envelope. So envelope one, we're gonna make a couple envelopes here. Envelope one is gonna be kind of pulled down like so. Just kind of pull it like that. I can actually, I should probably give them exact numbers. So attacks at 39 milliseconds. It's This is what's gonna kind of create that like kind of whistle sound. 33. 33, sorry, thank you, Parker. 34 is what it's letting me do, so we'll do that. Cool. Um, decay is gonna be, leave it where it's at. Uh, sustain is gonna be set to can't see that. Minus 42. Minus 42. Can you turn your screen closer to me, Parker? Yeah. Just a little bit. I'm going to open this beast. Yeah, open that beast oh up. God. Watch my microphone, bitch. Ruining the mic. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, release is going to be set to 704 milliseconds is what we're shooting for. 702 works. Ooh, it's a nice little whistle. Yeah. And that release is doing a lot too. That release is really, uh, you're gonna be able to hear that vibrato a little bit more. Uh, so that's it for envelope one. Is that right, Parker? Yeah, I think I got it. Yep. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make envelope two. Envelope two is gonna be set to 34 milliseconds for the attack, same, same kind of deal. Uh, 34, so it's like a slower attack, or 35 is fine. Uh, turn the uh, decay dot, dob. <laughs> Dob real quick. Dobbing it down. To 942. So just a smidge below noon. I can't really get to 942. It's probably because I moved the actual, this thing itself. Can I do it this way? Does Serum uh, do it like more nominally if you hold control? Like I don't know. Tools? Let's try. I know it does that. Or I don't fucking Try know. control. Yeah. Does it do it? No. It doesn't move at all. Come on, Duda. I know you watch this, Steve. I'm just kidding. I love you, Steve Duda. Please don't. Biggest fan. Yeah, please don't ruin my career. I love Serum. I love you. Uh, <laughs> turn the sustain down to 38.05. That's about right there. Right around. Nah, that works. And let's get our release up to 242 milliseconds. 247, that works. Very nice. That sounded pretty good. Okay, next thing, next step. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put our, um, we're gonna, oh yeah, we're gonna add the filter right now. So we're gonna go use an MG Low 12. Bro, turn your fucking sound off, dude. That's not my phone, dude. Is I turned me? mine off. Was that, oh, it was probably me. <laughs> all right, cool. So uh, LFO 12, we're gonna turn this all the way down to um, right around there, around 15 hertz. What is that? 18 hertz. 18 hertz is what we're looking for. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and add uh, envelope 2 that we just made on to the cutoff of the low 12 filter. And that's going to be going, uh, move your mouse, yeah, all the way up. Nice. That's kind of creating a little bit more of a pluck. Mm. Very pretty. It's already sounding great. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding the effects. I think we're pretty much good on this page. So I went ahead and I, I saved it. We'll go one by one to make it a lot simpler. Uh, you can also save your effect chains right here. So if you make something and you, or you like this effect chain, you want to use it on a pluck uh, or something else that you make, it's a really good way to get going, moving faster. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load effect chain, and I got it here. It's called the San Holo Pluck High or San Holo Pluck. Cool. Uh, I'm going to turn these off one by one so we can go through them and see what they're doing. And I can maybe explain them too. I don't think I have the delay on, but I left it on if you want to leave it. So, all right. So the first thing I have is a little bit of hyperdimension. Hyperdimension is uh, going to be making the sound a lot wider. Uh, I believe I don't know if it's actually delaying the left and right side like a simple delay would do, because it does sound phasey. Do you know that? Yeah, I think it's like you know that waves plugin that this, I think it's called Wave spread. spread. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's kind of like that, but then it adds. Um, 
it, I think it does add the delay. I think there is like a, a very short delay. Yeah, it's like mid and side too, I'm sure. But it, it's, it does something weird because it takes a lot of computer power. Yeah, it does. I don't know why. <laughs> it it's really like does. fucking weirdest thing ever. Um, so I went ahead and set uh, the rate. I'm pretty sure this is stock. So there's hyper and there's dimension. There's two parts to this effect. Um, the hyper set is rate is to 40%. Detune's at 25. Unison's at 4. Mix is at 17%. And then for the size on the dimension is at 24. And the mix is at 46. It sounds like this. On. Off. Just a little bit. Just widens it out to your ears a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, next thing I had is I had some distortion and I used ASIM. Uh, this is a really heavy distortion, but I kind of have it dialed back a little bit at 65% for the drive and 40% for the mix. ASIM is your favorite, right? I like ASIM a lot. Yeah, I use it a lot. I use it a lot on growls and stuff like that, actually. Yeah. But it sounded really good on this. Next thing we have is just a simple phaser. Uh, rate is set to 0 0.08 hertz. Depth's at noon. Frequency is at 1743. Feedback's at 80%, and phase is at 180, with the mix knob at 11. coloring the sound little bits at a time i was explaining to that in one of our mentoring sessions that a lot of this stuff is like uh very very minimal stuff little changes at a time i mean sometimes you find something that's like a huge change uh, that you might turn a knob and make the entire sound yeah but a lot of times it's like you're building it little by little so it's not all just like you, you don't expect a huge change from one effect or from one lfo that's definitely some key information for yeah sure. nugs of nodge right there nugs of nodge there you go and it's also like patience too because yeah. i i hate it sometimes i always turn the knob like really yeah. crazy just to hear it and then i like dial it back you're expecting it to be uh, a huge uh difference and it's not sometimes yeah. it's not sometimes it's just a little bit as long as it sounds a little bit better than you're moving in the right direction and totally. just keep going yeah um so yeah just a little fun thing and also, also like, uh we're doing mentoring yeah, sessions so uh up. if you guys want uh we're doing skype lessons and we're doing in-person lessons at the studio so uh we're gonna be putting that up on our website pretty soon uh one-on-ones with danny one-on-ones with me yep. and then you guys can also have it us together yeah uh, best friends skype session and in studio so uh all of our rates are gonna be on our website very soon so stay tuned for that well it's also too if you're interested now you can just email us too we'll tell you also. yeah shoot us an email and uh and we'll get you guys taken care of info at xlnt sound is is the email is the email okay yes. so going on uh the next thing we have is a course and the course is set uh at 0 0.08 hertz delay is at zero milliseconds for one and two is 7.8 depth is at 1.8 the feedback is at 56 and low pass filter is at 399 but what i did is I actually threw this envelope on the low pass to add a little bit more pluckiness. Which is kind of interesting because people forget that there's other filters on top of like an effect like chorus, you know? Yeah, totally. Uh, and chorus is like a really great effect that I've been really just digging lately. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of like the, the chorus filters and yeah, uh, the for, reverb filters too. Yeah, for Future Bass, the new uh, the new pack that's coming out April 1st, shout out us, um, is... Uh, is a lot of the sounds I made using, like the main characteristic of it is using the chorus filter. So really nice. Play with chorus. It's a pretty cool. Uh, it's a pretty cool effect. Core uh, on, core out. Core on, core out. Next thing I have is a, is a delay, but I have it turned off. But I'll just show you. I was just playing with it, but you don't have to. Um, it's in the it's in the rack. It's turned off, but go ahead and mess with it. It's on there. It's some settings that I had set up for you. Uh, next thing we got is a little bit of OTT uh, compressor, multi band switched on. Threshold is at eighteen point one, four over one for the ratio. Attacks at ninety. Uh, releases at ninety. Gains at five point six. I think and. Uh, sorry, com compressor wet is at 31, so we're doing some parallel compression here. I think I just nice. did this to make it a little bit louder. Yeah, a little bit more present. A little tighter. And then the next thing I got on here is I got just a pretty much a stock reverb filter. Uh, I'm sorry, just a stock reverb effect. with uh, It's set to haul, size at 35, decay at 4.7, low cut all the way down, high cut at 35, Spin at 25, spin depth at 20%, and our mix knob at 20%. Should be sounding a little bit like this. Just a little bit of space. Very nice. And the next thing we got here, guys, is we got a little bit of EQ. I wanted to do a little bit of uh, boost the highs. This is kind of what I did here. I'm going to turn it on real quick. Uh, I got a low, uh, low cut right here, and... Uh, that's the, the setting you want it to be on. Frequency is at 108, uh, Q is at 55, gain is at 0.05, 
and uh, you can see there's like a little notch right here because of the Q, which is a little frequency I wanted to boost. And then for the top end, I have a shelf, a high shelf with the frequency set at 2041, Q's at 60% and gains at nine dBs. That's a lot, but watch. Really brings that top oh, end out. Oh, that is huge. I think a lot of people forget to use the EQ in Serum, and I think it's really important that you get your sound as good as you possibly can before you get it into, uh, into your processing. Because Definitely. we're going to process this. So uh, I'm cutting out some of the lows here. So if I start putting an OTT, those lows are going to be even more. But if I cut the lows just a little bit here, which I know I'm not going to need them, unless I'm using the EQ to do some, you know, some weird, you know, filtering or form and stuff. Yeah. Uh, use the EQ uh, because that's actually going to be able to clean up the sound uh, more so than if you were to not use it. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Just a little bit, just a little bit of pre EQing. And what, what I, what I like doing too is after I do my post effects, I go back and kind of dial stuff back that the yeah. post is bringing up. So, you know, especially with the OTT in serum, like the multiband compression, right? Sometimes I push that way too much originally cause that's the sound I want, but mm -hmm. then I put another OTT on and it's a lot. So then I have to dial that back. So exactly. It's, it's all about balance. It's like a balancing act. Yep. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for the serum preset right now. Let's get into some of the processing. I'm going to show you guys this rec and don't forget it is in the download description below. Uh, let's just go ahead and click that. Uh, so for this, what I had going is I have this rack right here. I'm going to go ahead. I have it turned on. I'm going to go one by one. I have some uh, bit reduction, which is like uh, like a bit crusher. Yeah. Uh, it's set just very small, down sample at 1.45 with soft. See how it kind of dirties it up a little bit more. Lo-fi is essentially what a lot of this music is, is lo-fi. Um, Next thing I got is I got a little bit of grain delay. I wanted to get a little bit of weird, weird delay. Um, I have this spray set to 439 milliseconds. Frequency is at 9.6. Uh, feedback's at 41% and dry wet's at 18% with the time at 32.8. This is going to create a little bit of uh, sparkle, I'd like to say. Spraying that delay. You see without it. It just adds a little bit of uh, extra... Extra like almost sauce. like a wind chime -ish, I guess, or whatever. Uh, next thing I did is I added a reverb uh, with the low and the high cut filter kind of like this. So I'm cutting off some highs. I'm definitely cutting some lows. Uh, I believe this is stock pre-delay, stock shape, uh, size at 100, stereo, and decay time. Here, let me move it over for you. Is that better? Oh, wait. Here. Yeah. I'm fucking it up, huh, Baker? No, it's good. You were good. Damn it. You were good. Oh, God. I'm ruining oh no. the video again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, the K times at 3.62 uh, seconds with uh, the diffusion set down like so, uh, kind of like a bottle. I like to think of it like a bottle, and that's kind of how the sound is going. It's starting open, and then it's going to shut a lot quicker. Yeah. Dry wet's at 21%. And of course, an OTT after the reverb is really going to make this thing big. Uh, OTT set with some highs and mids pulled out as like I usually do. I could probably could turn this low off. I probably don't need it, but you can leave it on if you want. 40% is where it is at for the dry wet. So I started, I started, I think I might've said this in another video. I started doing, uh, I started pulling out, uh, the lows of like leads and stuff like that on the yeah. OTT because I do not want to compress those because I'm going to cut them out anyway. Just like what we were talking about Fuck before. Fuck those lows, dude. Fuck those lows, Jesus dude. Jesus Christ. Fuck a low, dude. <laughs> Fuck a low, bro. Um, yeah, so you don't need those lows, so you can essentially turn it off unless you really want it and it's helping to the sound. But in this case, I didn't. I probably fucking forgot. It doesn't really matter. Um, next thing we got is an auto filter because I wanted to tame some of the high end. I was listening to his, the original, and it was a, a little bit, uh, uh, what was the word? Just like scratchy. Yeah, it was a little scratchy. So I just had a little bit of a filter right here, and that's just set to 8.5 kilohertz. And the last thing is some reverb. Some reverb set to like this, just like so. And the reverb set is just like uh, same kind of shape as before, just uh, a little bit more lows in there and cutting off some highs. This is all stock. Decay time is stock at 1.2, and I think this is stock to the diffusion. Just dry wet at 28% to add a little bit more. Oh yeah, and you can see here on this track, I actually did do a low cut. So rather than, I mean, I would probably do that anyway, but that's probably because of the OTT. I think that sounded pretty good. Super clean, super clean. All right, cool. So uh, that's it for that sound. Like I said, in the download description below, make sure you guys grab that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, make uh, 
this other pluck right here, which sounds like this. This is a cool, I like this one. It sounds like, um, it reminded me of like a lean on or something like the kind of like those type of plucks. Yeah, it's for really sure. Nice future bass pluck, I guess. Future bass pluck. Excuse yeah, and it's my clean. Language. It's very clean. Yeah. It's a lot harder to 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 make a very like fresh, clean sound. That's kind of like a low lead. Yeah. Like, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? People like whenever forget, whenever low leads go down an octave, it's like yeah, it's hard to kind of mix in sometimes, you know? Exactly, and like. What's what he's doing here with his writing is really cool because it's kind of the the two are really complementing each other. Uh, yeah. The two the MIDI together. Like if I play them together. It just kind of hits uh, on some of the MIDI together and some of it doesn't. It's just, I don't know, it just it, it, they play really nicely together. And that's a lot of the mixing technique, too, is, exactly. is the writing. If, mm -hmm. if the writing or the melody is off, it's just never going to sound good, no matter how well you mix it. Exactly. Nugs of Nodge. Nugs of Nodge. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to duplicate this track real quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off this old one. And I'm going to take this shit off real quick, and we'll go in one by one. Um, okay, I'm going to initiate the patch. Uh, this the other thing too is like I think people forget like how uh, you know they are everybody focuses on like growls and leads and stuff like that and those are cool those are a lot of fun to make but uh, I think that like a good pluck and a good lead is like something really solid and there's Just not money there's not a lot of good uh, like I shouldn't say this but like a lot of the stock serum presets are. Uh, they're not that that great, I think. They're just kind of They're basic. a little dated as well. Yeah, you know? exactly. So, Maybe we've just heard them so much. Is that's that probably we're true. That's probably over it. Exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and initiate this patch real quick. Um, it should be sounding like this to you guys. <laughs> it's nice and farty and bloaty. <laughs> Mugatu. Mugatu? <laughs> when he brings him the foam latte, he's like, you know, foam makes me farty and bloaty. <laughs> Zoolander? No, just me? Okay. I can't remember that shit. All right. First thing we're going to do is oscillator A is going to be set to basic shapes, and it's going to be set on a sine wave. And turn on oscillator B2 and also set that to basic shapes as well. I'm just going to do that right off the bat. Bassing out. Bassing out. Uh, I'm going to turn the level down for A, and I'm also going to turn it down for B2 because we're going to do some weirdness. Um, so for oscillator A, you're going to set this to three octave. Um, you're going to leave everything pretty much stock, I believe. Yes, everything is stock. This is actually going to be doing, uh, I, I did it backwards. I don't know why I did, but this is going to be FMing into this right here. Uh, so oscillator uh, B is going to be set to seven waves of unison. And detune is going to be set to about um, 0.39. And make sure also, too, you set it to plus one octave, like so. Um, Wavetable's good. Oh, yeah. We're going to do FM from A for this real quick because I want to try to get some sound for everybody. And that's going to be set to 32%. Trips deuce. Trips deucers. Trips deucers. Um, that looks good. Random's good. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and let's make envelope two real quick. Envelope two is going to look a little something like this. I'm going to pull this down like so. Sometimes I just do shit back ass words. Um, Envelopes at, uh, sorry, attacks at 0.5, hold is zero, uh, decays at 573 milliseconds is what we're shooting for. 588, that's fine. Uh, sustains at 18.8, so let's go ahead and bring that up just a smidge. 18% is fine. Uh, release is at 420. 4. 420. 430. 430, bro. Vape. Yeah, somebody whoever commented, 430, dude. That show is hilarious. Vape 4.30, bro. <laughs> sorry, do you want to get a vap yeah, in yeah, there? Yeah, let me, get get a, a vap. let me get a little vapor in there. Okay, LFO, uh, sorry, envelope 2 is going to go on the level of oscillator A. So even though this is FMing oscillator B, we can still use it uh, and get some uh, different tones out of it. And also we're going to set envelope 2 on... No. No, we're not putting it there. We're going to put it somewhere else. Okay, so just for that for right now. And then let's go to our, our uh, envelope. Go to envelope three for me, Parker. Oh, no. Our, uh, go to envelope one. We'll do envelope one. Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. Okay, envelope one. 0.05 milliseconds. Um, this is going to be set to decay. It's going to be just like that. And then our sustain is going to go down to minus 10 dB. 10 is 10 to around there is what we're shooting for. Nice. Nailed it. And then release is at 1.48 milliseconds. All right, and then I'm gonna make our first LFO so we can get some actual fucking sound in here. So LFO it's one is like this, going. and just kind of hump it, just like that. 
It's a nice little round hump. Hump it on out. Hump it out, dude. Uh, set that to envelope and set that to quarters. That looks good. And then we're going to put this on our level of oscillator B, and that's going to go to about a little bit after noon. Afternoon, dude. 52. Nice. Oh, dude, it's there almost go, already dude. there. There we Sick. go. It's working, dude. Nice. Okay, cool. I was surprised. It's <laughs> like Jersey Boardwalk. Yeah, kinda, dude. That's even that's pretty down, clean. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a filter. It's going to be the reverb filter. Uh, the reverb filter gets kind of crazy, so we're going to make it dial it back a little bit. Make sure both A and B are both going to the filter. And set our cutoff to 83 hertz is what we're looking for. 83 hertz. Uh, resonance is going to be up a bit at 24%. This is really accentuates the reverb filter. So all these little notches and these little hairs right here, that's essentially pulling them out more. And now you can't hear it at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the mix knob down. And the mix knob is going to be set to right around 30%. There we go. Just does a little bit. Nice. Now we're cruising. Oh! Great. Okay. Um, and I think... Um, Oh, we got to make our envelope three. So envelope three, this is where I had some trouble before. Uh, I was like trying to remake this sound and I was like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? And I found something new in Sierra. Maybe it's not a big deal to you guys, but I found something that's not in, uh, the, the, that I didn't know about essentially. So normally when I make a pluck, uh, I was explaining this to Raul, I'll usually like do like a shape like this, like really sharp and I'll turn the decay down like this. Yeah. Right. And I'll throw this on like uh, an oscillator like this. And I'll just like shift option click it right to go to like a hundred or something. But you see it does like that clickiness. And I'll usually use that as like one of the oscillators to like kind of give it that little extra click. Yeah. Uh, but I was doing something wrong and I was like trying to remake it to, you know, to make sure I was prepared for this. And I realized that uh, you can do this thing inside of uh, uh, inside of an envelope that's not there, which I'm going to do in a second. So first thing we want to do for this envelope is we're going to set our our attack at 0.5 hold all the way down at zero decay is going to be set to 78 milliseconds and this is how it's going to sound when you do it but don't forget this is a super crucial part uh releases at 15 milliseconds so it's going to sound like this it's kind of like how you would make one of those laser sounds definitely and what i found out i was like why doesn't it sound right i was like remaking it the same way and the reason why is because this right here, which is the, called the D curve. Thank you, Ableton, for telling me what it was. Because when I went like this and I moved it, it actually uh, told me the automation. Or it's called A curve, I guess. A curve. So if you take this and you, you have to make sure you grab this little dot right here. Oops, it's not working. There we go. Yeah, see? I could drag it all the way down. Just like so. And there's our click. Nice. So it's really a sharp, really fast attack. It's like happening so fast. So just dial that into taste. I, there's not an exact number. And like, as you see, as I'm moving it, that's the thing that bothered me. I was like, there's no knob that's telling me what I'm doing. You know, I'm just like kind of moving it. I've ran into that too with some some stuff that I was making. There's yeah. that, that weird attack. Yeah, I was like, what? And it, you know, it's because it's pitching because of the decay or whatever. But that little whole thing right there is, 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 that's the only place that you can change it as far as I know of. There's not a knob for it, right? No. So just kind of pull it all the way down or depending on how clicky you want. But I think I have it like there. Yeah, nice. that sounds good. All right, cool. So uh, that's pretty much it for this page right here. We're going to be getting into um, the effects right now. I'm going to go ahead and load that up. So the effects, I have that saved. Load effect chain. And the effect chain is called uh, San Holo Pluck Low because it's the low pluck. Okay, I'm going to go one by one. And we'll go through these. And then we're going to do a little bit of LFO uh, and some modulating in the effects too, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Or am I missing something for envelope two? We click on envelope two for me. And then tell me where it's supposed to go. Click on the two. On f bypass or, yeah, filter cutoff. Oh, okay. Did I already do that? Uh, let's see. No, I didn't. Nope. Okay, sorry. Go back real quick to this page. Envelope two. This is just like a tiny thing. It's going to go on the reverb filter, but it's it's probably doesn't even make a difference, to be honest like with you. One. I have it at one. <laughs> just like that. Did I just... 
Oh, it's because it's because all the effects are on. Oh yeah, it's because of this right here. So uh, for the EQ, um, yeah, that's all you had to do for envelope two. Sorry about that. Uh, so go back to effects and set your frequency to 60 hertz, cues at 40%, and gains at zero with a low cut, just like so. And then for, uh, I boosted this little top area right here because I really wanted that pluck to come out right more. So I, I created a notch and I set the frequency to 4212, cue at 25%, and gain at 17.9. Should be sounding like this. Probably turn down the volume. So now it sounds really nice and clicky. You could probably you don't even need it. I know you do need it. it. Gives that pulls out that click a little bit more. You know what Brings I mean? Out in the mix. I think I might actually pull this. I think I might have pulled this hold all the way down. Uh, now it's hard to get it back. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add, add our hyper dimension. Turn that on real quick. See how it's sounding. Rate is set dimension. Forty percent detune is at twenty-five. Four waves of unison. Mix at fifteen percent. Size almost all the way down at five percent. And mix knob at thirty-five. I really like turning down the size on the dimension size and just turning the mix up to like almost around fifty percent. It creates a nice, even widespread sound, which I really enjoy. So it'd be sound like that. Uh, next thing we have some uh, reverb on here with the mix set to noon at 50%, spin depth all the way up, spin at 70%, high cut at 75, low cut at 30, decay a little bit before noon at 55, and size at 33. And that's set to a plate. And do you know the difference between a plate and a hall? Uh, I mean, yeah. Do you want to tell them? Yeah, so the okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get like, do not lay up, bro, dude. Fucking pass it over to my bro. Yeah, so uh so the hall reverb is literally like an IR, uh, which is basically an impulse response uh of a hall. So uh like you're in a hallway. Exactly. So they put a microphone in a hall and they record all of the algorithms from that room uh and they put it into that. Now a plate is basically uh like in the old days they would have that like spring literal metal plate and the right. only way that they could get uh reverb from that was from from a plate and then that transduces through like the cables and the walls and then that's how uh kind of like how a spring sounds right exactly yeah yeah so you know some pedals have that there's some like little brick guitar amps that have little ones built in like yeah. vintage ones but they're pretty expensive but that's that's kind of the difference so the plates are a little bit more washy sounding right uh, and the halls are a little bit more roomy yeah big and ambient yeah that's a great that was a great explanation yeah man. that was really good oh yeah parker's smarter than me okay next thing we got here is we got <laughs> some <laughs> some delay which i turned off apparently so you can turn it on just like the other sound and i think i just had the mix knob at zero percent but this is the settings i think i was trying to play around with some delay Oh yeah, don't turn that on. <laughs> That's why I left it off. But yeah, I was think I was just trying to get uh, some weird, some weird trippy delay. But if you wanted to, just set this to a stock delay and turn the mix down. That's all you gotta do. Uh, next thing we have is we have a phaser. Also, I don't think I'm using this at all. Uh, I think I have this at like three percent, just like so. Rate is at zero. Depth at sixty nine, six nine. Yeah. Frequencies at uh, 198, feedbacks at 81, phases at zero. Uh, next thing we got is a compressor, just stock, not multiband, at 100% mix, gains at 6.6, .6, release at 90 milliseconds, attack is at uh, 150.3, ratios at 2 over 1, and thresholds at minus 35 dB. It should be sounding like this. Very nice. Very nice. So that's pretty much it for the actual serum. Uh, now let's get into the last part, which is just going to process this guy, make it sound uh, a little bit better. Oh, yeah. So I got this rock here also in the download description below. I've said that like a million fucking times, but we're doing it. Um, the first thing I did is I added some overdrive, very, very light uh, dynamics at 4.7. Dynamics is the built-in compressor in the overdrive, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, and the filter of the overdrive is going to look something like this. So we're going to distort essentially the low end of the filter. I'm sorry, of the sound itself. Uh, 300 hertz and 4.7 is the Q. Tone and driver are 50. And dry wet is at 17%. Should be sounding like this. The last thing I got, or sorry, the second to last thing I have is this OTT. Again, I cut the lows out like I said before. 
Uh, high is at, uh, sorry, just pull the high up to like right around there and pull the mids out just like that. And amounts at 15%. Sound really nice. And the last thing I did is some EQ. And this is a good little uh, trick for you guys. This is additive EQ. You want to be careful with it, but it's good for sound design. There are no rules. Uh, but I like to find the transient in the actual sound to kind of pull it out a little bit more. So that's what this is. The the frequency is at five point, uh, sorry, 519 hertz and 3.6 decibel gain and 3.32 for the Q. And then for, uh, for number two, this little boost right here is at 88 hertz, 3.10, and Q is at 2.3. It should be sound like this. So you can see the transients themselves. Yeah, you want to be very careful with that too. Yeah, really careful. Like if I solo this, I'm essentially looking for transients to accentuate. There. See, there's nothing over here. Well, there's a little bit. But I want like the meat of it right here. And then this is the low end of it. I wanted more low end, so that's why I did that. And altogether, it should be sounding a little something like this, guys. Wait. I want to do the build. Fuck it. Uh, don't get pulled from copyright. Da, 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 da. I still see your face. Let's Vaping. go. That's how you guys do oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right there. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Make sure you guys big grab that you. big free download. Don't forget, uh, Future Bass is coming April 1st. You guys can check all our other packs on our website. I will pull that up right now. This is our website. Go to it. Check it out. We have a bunch of stuff on there. Effectuals and a nice effect pack. 1969, great year. Cartel, a good hybrid trap and future base pack. Uh, very Serum popular. Presets. Um, and uh, some cashmere vocals. We got a bunch of stuff. We got some 808s. Check it out on our website, guys. Uh, you can get our download. And also, there's also a bunch of free downloads there, too. If you don't want to buy anything, you just want to get some other free sounds. We got a bunch of shit there now. Grab some free shit. Parker worked really hard on making that stuff look really oh, nice. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. So don't forget, you guys, April 1st. And also, too, if you want to uh, send us your music, we have a new email for you guys. It is excellent, X-L-N-T, feedback at gmail.com correct we will be happy to feature your song in a live stream if we like it uh if not and you just want feedback we'll give you guys that too or you just want to show us that's cool too yeah we love talking to you guys hit us up any request make sure you guys comment like share subscribe do all that bullshit saturated sub saturated Satch it on wub, up there, dude. limited like yep. compressed comment uh we're gonna be showing you guys um uh, I think uh, we're going to be playing Eric's, our buddy Eric's track on the way out. Yep, Eric Curry. Eric Curry is coming out. Am I forgetting anything, Parker? No, I think we're I think we're good. The tag is at xlntsound.com. Hit us up to it, info at Excellent Sound if you want mentoring or if you need production, mixing, mastering. We're we do here all for of you that. guys. We do in-house lessons and yep. Skype and production and mixing and everything. So hit us up. Let's do it. Let's get out of this bitch. Are we going to play the whole thing? Yeah. We're going to play most of it. So Yeah, let's do it. I got to turn off the filter now. And let's get it started. Come on. Play. And there we go. Oops. <laughs> Don't, it's still playing. Don't listen. There we go. Show them uh, the screen, Becca, so they can see this. Oh, look at that. Future Bass coming at you. Uh-huh. We'll see you guys next time. Make sure you guys check out Eric. Hurry. With some drum and bass. Drum and bass. That's the SoundCloud right there. You smack that. You smack it, bro. I like that harmonic. Uh. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. We hit 6K, by the way. Shout out. 6K. Thank you guys so much. All you guys. See you next time.